I still don't think that you should stretch yourself so thin. I think you should focus on one channel, own that channel, get good at it, and then move on to the next one. We interrupt this program to bring you this important message. Welcome to Marketing Interruption, a daily podcast powered by Blue Tusker that interrupts your day with marketing news, tips and strategies from an entrepreneur who lives and breathes marketing. Now, let the interruption begin with your host, Andrew Maff. Hello and welcome to episode number 55 of the Marketing Interruption Podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Mafto, and today I'm doing what I do every Friday. I'm doing a recap of how this show has gone. So Monday, we talked about how much content is too much content. So this was, uh, we kind of dove into, you know, these marketing gurus of, of where they're posting everywhere. And just the other day, again, I saw another uh, Gary Vee is obviously the, the bigger culprit of all of them, which, by the way, I love what he does, love the concept. It totally makes a lot of sense if you once you get to that size, but the allure of getting to that size where you're running a hundred, multiple, multiple hundreds of millions of dollars business, which I think he's on his way to a billion with all of his stuff that he's doing. Yeah, at that point, you should be everywhere. But for most sellers or most companies that are still running one company or only running a few and you know you still are busy throughout the day it can be difficult and i know like document and just put it out there but you still need to have some quality to it so i still don't think that you should stretch yourself so thin i think you should focus on one channel own that channel get good at it and then move on to the next one even after you get good at the first channel find a way to get someone to help you run it and reduce the amount of time that you're spending on it and once you get it to a point where you're just standing in front of a camera like this and then you just send it off to someone, that is when you should move on to the next channel. Uh, talk about Google WP pages, uh, sorry, Google WP file formats for, for images. Um, I need to find a converter. Hopefully I'll find one and I'll put it in the show notes, but I would highly suggest going forward, changing all of your imagery to from a PNG or a JPEG or anything like that to a WebP so that it's uploading and it's loading the website much faster. That one's pretty straightforward. TikTok advertising, test it. There's no harm in testing anything. Uh, there's a lot of platforms out there that I think everyone should be testing, but TikTok is obviously a hot topic right now. TikTok is a great area also where if you are comfortable with spending a budget towards just branding and kind of keeping your name out there, and maybe you just want to drive a ton of traffic to the website just for SEO purposes or, or anything like that, then it's a great channel. And you're also investing in your future because all these kids that are on there right now that are between you know 14 and 22 or 24, I think is what it is. Uh, they'll be more avid shoppers in the future. And if you can start with them now, they'll be with you later. It was the whole Coca-Cola thing. I think it's what cigarettes did too, but I digress. Uh, and then click funnels kind of gave my opinion on that. Russell Brunson hasn't come to my house to wrestle me yet, but maybe I'm lucky and he will. Um, but I, I still do think that, uh, click funnels is great for relatively newer sellers or specifically brand new sellers. In fact, if you just have one product, I would do ClickFunnels before I would do Shopify just to test out your product and to keep your expenses relatively low. That way you don't need to hire a developer. You don't, in most cases, you don't even need to hire a designer. You can just pretty much start it on your own without any issue. Uh, Shopify, I usually don't suggest going to Shopify until you can get a designer or a developer to help you. They have templates. And they're nice, but they're a lot of them are ugly or you know when you're on a templated website. You don't really know when you're on a templated ClickFunnels site. Uh, so that would be my suggestion. But if you've been around for a while and you're you know, a multi-million dollar seller or something like that, I wouldn't bother with ClickFunnels. You can do all that same stuff on Shopify. Just ask your designer to make you something that looks like that and then just have your developer follow it out. In fact, map it out on something like uh, Funnelytics or something. Um, but that was it. That's what I talked about all week. Uh, obviously, the ClickFunnels thing was from someone on YouTube, so I answered a question for that this week. But uh, make sure to email us, marketinginterruption at bluetusker.com. Let us know if you have any questions or if there's anything that you want us to kind of discuss on the show. Be more than happy to. And in the near future, we will be interviewing other e-commerce sellers and possibly some other e-commerce vendors too. I'm going to see if Privy will be nice enough to join me one day. Um, but that is it. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you all next week. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us for today's marketing interruption. Make sure to rate, review and subscribe to the show. And don't forget to email marketinginterruption at bluetusker.com with any marketing questions you'd like to have answered on the show. And head over to marketinginterruption.bluetusker.com to catch up on past episodes. Until next time. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.